Hello everybody, welcome back to this brand new video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to get Gorilla Tag mods. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into the video. So you want to go and head over to Steam, go to Library, and you want to of course make sure that your Gorilla Tag is there. So just type in here Gorilla and you'll find Gorilla Tag. Uh, if you want to check the integrity of your game files, which basically means that it'll check if there's any corrupted files in your Gorilla Tag game, um, just right click, go to properties, go to local files, and then ch click integrity uh, of game files. Check integrity of game files. So we're going to click that, and we're going to go here, and then you can see it's done. If there's any corrupted files, it'll automatically fix it. Um, and if your game keeps crashing, and you do have mods installed, please keep in mind that you cannot have two mod menus installed. So anyways, back to uh, how to get the mods themselves. You want to just head over to Google, and you want to click in Monkey Mod Manager. You want to go here. So as you can see, it's a GitHub page. The link will be in the description for you guys. You want to click here. And then you want to go and click this. And then it'll go and install it to your downloads folder. Um, and you can check that by going to downloads by clicking here. So when you are here, you can click show in map. And then you can see where your downloads are stored. And you should be able to change the location. But that doesn't matter for now. So you want to click this to open it. You can just click this. Click this away. And you have this. So what you want to do is you want to locate your Gorilla Tag folder path. Now by uh, the way that you do this is you want to click this. The dots here. The two dots. And you want to go uh, to where you have your Steam installed. For me, it's my D drive. And I want to go to Apps. I want to go to Steam. Then you want to go to Steam Apps. Common. And then you want to find Gorilla Tag. And you want to click the application. Don't click this. Click this. Double click it. And there you are. So then what you want to do is if you want Gorilla Tag Cosmetics, just click this. So if you want Gorilla Tag Cosmetics, just make sure you click this. And there's also an extra step you have to do in order to make this work. And I'll be showing you exactly what to do later. So then, if you want to disable rain in the game, just click this. And if you want any of these mods, like uh, Air Jump or Mary Poppins mods... Just go to tweak slash tools, and I think you need the haunted mod menu for them to work. If you want a broken controller, which means that one of either two controllers don't work, uh, it's a cool challenge you can try uh, with your friends too. Um, and then you have no ambient, that just basically means there's no background noises, um, and your fit gorilla tag I think only works if you have uh, it on a quest. So, you want to head down to libraries and you want to click computer interface if you want it, of course. But I think it's very useful because it just makes it a lot easier. So just click this and it selects everything that you need. So don't select banana hook or TMP loader. You don't need those. So just click install slash update over here. And it says status, downloading, and now it says it's complete. So then you want to go and head over to utilities, and you want to find your BEP index folder. Just click that, and go to plugins, and then you see these folders. This is all good. If you have this, you did a good job so far. And here is where it could get tricky. I'm not saying it will, but it could. So now what you want to do is you want to head over to my Discord server. Because I don't know any other way uh, that I can share files with you guys. So just go to your Discord and join my server. The link is in the description. So now that we are in my Discord server, just make sure 
that you verified by in the rules and just head over to essential gorilla tag files it's under the gaming tab and then you will see manage.rar just click it continue to download because this is not harmful to your computer at all and also you want to download this so then you also have this you want to make sure you click continue to download and then you say you want to keep this just close this and just close this you can you have to keep this open because that's way easier to do and you can close this so I want to grab my files from my downloads folder and then we can continue so now that I have these folders what I want to do or this folder and this DLL I want to have this manage folder and what you want is you want to have WinRAR installed and if you have it installed uh, you can right click and go to WinRAR and then extract to manage on Windows 10 it should already be a, uh, be an option over here if you want to download WinRAR I think it's available in the Microsoft Store so then you want to just delete this because you'll not be needing that anymore and just cut this by pressing Ctrl X or right clicking and pressing cut or this icon here then you want to bring this back up and you want to go to gorilla tag by clicking on it then go to gorilla tag data and press ctrl v or press paste here or this icon so just ctrl v and it says the destination has 68 files with the same names so then just uh, just press uh, replace the files in the destination if it's less files if it's like 40 or 50 that's okay just press replace the files in the destination and that's step one and if you have the um gorilla tag cosmetics just make sure that you do the same with this just cut uh, just cut and paste it in here and replace the file in the destination so then you should be all set and let's head into gorilla tag and check if this actually works all right so we're in gorilla tag and as you can see there has been something and there's something that has been added and it's custom so just click it you can also have a material which is super awesome you can become gold you can become camo you can you can even become this or glowy or ice um oh wow that is weird Oof, that's bright and you can become a rainbow color so that's very cool um don't mind the thing in the right bottom that's just my steam vr being annoying i really love this one um but anyways that's not what what we came for we came for the hats because the colors will always work but the hats won't if you don't do what i just did but let's see yes it works <laughs> i told you that you can just equip anything you want you can even have this a little minor hat with a with a light in it. It's super cool. You can have a hat with a nacho. You can have this. You can have a rainbow. You can even have a quest. That's super awesome. So anyways, that is how you do this. And I hope this helped you a lot. If you have any further questions, just ask them in the comments. Or DM me in my Discord server or of course in private. Um, and that is going to be it for this video. If this helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with other people that might need this. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitch. And I guess I'll see you the next time I'm on air. And until then, take care.